Let's explore the features of the Hunt League map section. You can access the maps from the home page, the Hunt League menu, or by swiping from right to left on the Hunter Scout dashboard page. With the map open, let's explore the various icons on the screen and describe each function. Starting with the bottom menu, we have a heading icon with two choices. One is a fixed map screen where the map stays in a fixed position regardless of which direction the user is facing. Personally, I prefer this setting with north being at the top of my screen. The second setting allows the map screen to move based on the direction the user is facing. This feature is really helpful when using the Locate Animals button on the Sighting Event page or when trying to establish your heading. The second icon shows you the offline maps that are currently downloaded on your device. To delete a map, simply swipe over from right to left on a selected map and hit the Delete button, clearing up space on your device. Select the middle icon to add a waypoint. When adding a waypoint, confirm the location, name the spot, and select from one of the many icons available, or you can add your own custom photo for the new waypoint. The fourth icon is the map filter, which will help you clear a cluttered map screen and find exactly what you're looking for. Sort by activities, species, method of take, month, year, etc. Or at the top, you can choose to view the waypoints that you have added only the waypoints that have been shared with you or all waypoints. The last icon in the bottom menu is for map tools. Currently that only allows you to input specific coordinates to find a location. Soon this will include tools to measure distance, track your location, share your location with another hunting buddy in the field, and more. Now let's take a look at a few of the other helpful icons that appear on the map screen. One of the most important ones is the cloud in the upper left. This icon allows you to download the current map screen, making that area available for offline use. When downloading offline maps, keep in mind there are some limits that may impact the size, quality, and quantity of maps you can download. In this example, I will show you that even on the lowest settings, you will still be able to have functional maps in the field and be able to identify roads, parking areas, ridge lines, and more. Only use the highest map quality on a very small area that you intend to hunt. Otherwise, you will reach your offline map limits quickly and may have a difficult time downloading your desired areas. Next, in the upper right, you have a compass which lets you know the direction that you are facing. Push this icon and the screen will shift so that north is now positioned at the top of your screen and the compass icon will disappear. In the bottom left, you will find an icon that looks like a human eye. Pressing this icon will change your view from topo to satellite. Then, the lower right icon will recenter the map screen on the user's current location. This will allow you to explore the map screen, but always have a way to return to your location. The last icon to point out only appears during an active hunt or scout. By pressing this icon, you will be able to add events such as sighting, sound, sign, shot, and field notes directly to your hunt log. It will take you through the same event pages found on the scout or hunt dashboard, but this feature keeps you locked in on your location in the field. In addition to the map icons, you can long press or force touch any spot on the map to find out specific information. You can also tap an existing waypoint or event icon to see when it was logged, to access the hunt log, you can move that location or select go to and get the distance and heading to that specific spot. If you have any questions about the map section of the Hunt League app, feel free to reach out to support at huntleague.com. We are looking forward to adding new features that will increase your confidence and help you become more successful in the field.